some wonder I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder the power throughout the universe is played then sank my who live here are folks with minimal, minimal incomes, sometimes with incomes only of $500, $600, or $700 a month. HUD subsidizes those rents. But in addition, this building affords these clients social services where they can have someone to assist them in everyday living. Socially, it's sometimes sad to witness the depression that many of the seniors uh, demonstrate because they are lonely. They have their own apartments, and many of them are homebound and cannot leave their apartments. Loneliness is a bitch. God didn't intend for people, man to be alone. He gave him a helpmate. But when you, now it's, I've never seen so many lonely people, and when they move into, unless they are active, like I'm very active, I, you know, the days that I'm home, I take advantage of those days that I'm home. When I'm on the computer, it's like I'm meditating. All of the stuff is gone, and I'm just into this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can get research on their own, it makes them feel like they're part of, 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 of society again. But you're just sitting home, you know, with, with your regular rituals, and you're not in touch, they're speaking about certain things that, that, uh, that you can do with the computer, and they just feel left out. I think it's a depressing thing. You know, I think it's self-destructing if you don't get into it, because they're speaking a language that you know nothing about and they're using English words. What cloud computing is, is when they hold your data. They have, you can access your data, but your data is like in a cloud, sort of like your email, because you can be any place in the world and access your email. So cloud computing is when, at a remote location, they have your information, you go into your device, you call it up, and then it, it gives it to you. The reason it's important to teach seniors the internet and about computing is because they're the ones who have traditionally been left out. Um, I think that people think they're not interested or they're too old or they think it's just for young people, but as the internet society says, the internet is for everyone. Seniors can access their benefits, their social security benefits, stay in touch. If you can't walk, you can access a computer. When I started out, we had one computer, and we all worked with one computer, and we made it work. But thanks to the Internet Society, who has actually granted all of my wishes, everything that I asked of them, they've given to me. We have laptops for everyone. We have a large monitor for instruction. We have wireless everything, and we have Internet access.
they become seniors, they think that's the end of the line for them. Now all they have to do now is set home. And the way it is now, the system is right now, you can't have this, you can't do that. They budget every dime you have, especially in a senior place, any place where the government is helping you to pay your rent. You can't have this, you gotta be sick, you gotta be poor. I don't buy into that because I, you know, I'm somebody great and I'm not gonna be labeled poor because it's not a good feeling and it's not good for the mind because most of the people like that, they, they live in fear. So to me, the computer is good for them the way it's good for me. Get on that computer and see what's going on in the world. First impression with Jaguars was 1969 when they first came out with this particular model and to me it was like a Rolls Royce. It was like a miniature Rolls Royce. It was just plush. Well I would like to use the internet to advertise my services and uh, part services. Give them a full description on how we restore automobiles. We even take requests for certain automobiles that people might be looking for. But basically it gives me more uh, uh, outreach to people that, uh, and give it a lot of exposure. And when I found the internet classes here, believe it or not, I joined also because there were some things that I didn't know about how to use the internet. Some of the people think that the senior citizens, they don't, they don't care if, if, you, if you, you don't learn when they teach it, you just don't get it. He gives the time to each and every one of us individually and make sure that you get what he is explaining to you. They got the right teachers to teach us. She's, uh, she's inspirational. And I look forward to computer class. That is an outlet for me. And if it wasn't for Merrill Bush, we would be in, uh, we would have some difficulties. Because yes, we do provide the social services, the emotional uh, services and what have you, but she helps us also with the intellectual services. And if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. <laughs> it's a beautiful world. Look around and see for yourself that this world was made by the hands of God. This world is a beautiful world. Thank God we know the world represents who we are. We realize that when we sing a song, the universe is guiding us through the daily walk in the world, oh, what a beautiful world. Oh, look around, you and see what God has made.